Hey, how's everyone doing? I'm just sitting here on the job. I was just sitting here thinking about the gospel. You know, it's, uh, I could see the gospel is such a <clears throat> offensive message to some people. And I was thinking if you're an overachiever, it's a very, it just don't make sense to people. The gospel, the preaching of the cross, you know, what does it tell us in Corinthians? It says, uh, you know, uh, the preaching, the, the message we preach is foolishness to the Gentiles and it's a stumbling block to the Jews, but to us that are saved, it's the power of God. You know, Christ is the wisdom of God. He is the power of God. Uh, in Him, all the fullness of the Godhead dwells in bodily form. He is the cornerstone, the foundation of which our faith is laid. You know, the foundation of, uh, G the, of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ Himself being the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone. You know, it said over in First uh, <clears throat> Timothy, Paul said, he said, look, the goal of our instruction is love from a pure heart and a clean, a clear conscience, a clean conscience towards God, faith unfeigned and faith unfeigned. You know, it is by grace that we are saved through faith. This is not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. Maybe the, one of the reasons I feel to address this, I've had so many people uh, lately, since I've been sharing the gospel, telling me so many things adding on to in Christ alone. No, it's like they said, no, 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 no. One guy told me, he said, just faith alone, no thanks. But it, what does it say? It's by grace that we are saved through faith. This is not of ourselves. It's the gift of God. Faith, unfaith. you know, we, we uh, in the gospel of God, the righteousness of God is revealed uh, in the gospel and the just shall live by faith. It's from faith to faith. We live by faith. By faith, we started this race, and by faith, we're going to end it. That's what Jesus said. He said, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that want to frustrate the gospel of God, to frustrate the grace of God. That's what, this is what Paul said. He said, look, in Galatians, he said, I do not frustrate the grace of God. Don't frustrate the grace of God. He said, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. You know what I mean? Then, then he, so it's Christ died for us because we couldn't do it. Look, what does he say in Romans 7? He goes, look, with my mind, I serve the law of God, but with my flesh, I serve the law of sin. He said, oh, wretched man I am. He said, who will deliver me? You know what I mean? He was like, the good I will to do good, but I don't have the ability. I don't have the ability. He said, I find that when I want to do good, that this law of sin is in me. I got a brother that used to say, he was like, look, I would much rather than having all the gifts, which of course we want the gifts of the Spirit, but he said, I'd much rather have the fruits of the Spirit. And I see what he's saying. You know, you must be born again. That's what I've been saying. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And it tells us in Galatians what them deeds of the flesh are and them deeds of the Spirit. The, the works of the flesh are evident. The envy, the strife. You know, that's where when you got envy and strife and all that, that's that carnal man, that fleshly man. See, the fruit of the Spirit, there's no law against the fruit of the Spirit. That's why the goal of our instruction is love that comes from a pure heart and faith unfeigned. The fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, self-control, all these things against such things, there is no law. If you have the fruit of the Spirit, see, that's what it's about. God came, comes and He writes His law in our heart. That's what He said. We're the true circumcision that uh, put our confidence in Christ. And, don't, or, and you know what I mean? We rejoice in Christ. Our faith is in Christ. And we don't put no confidence in the flesh. No confidence in the flesh. And I know that there's some people have been telling me, well, if you don't keep the Sabbath day, if you don't do this, if you don't, one person said, if you ain't baptized, you ain't saved. If you don't do this, Look, yes, get baptized as a profession. I mean, I see baptism as like a profession, but what's it do you any good if you don't if you're not walking in the spirit? Get you know, baptized as a profession to the world, but hey, I'm dead to myself, I'm alive to Christ. But to say that you have that's you have to have that to be saved. You have to have this do the Sabbath day to have to be saved, you have to do this. Look, one person like like what am I doing today? It's July fourth. I'm sitting here uh, working on July fourth. One person can see, considers one day above another. Another considers each day alike. It says in Romans fourteen, let each one be convinced in his own mind. 
So if you're convinced that that's what you have to do, be convinced in your own mind. But I'm convinced that each day is a day alike. Each day is the day that the Lord has made. Every day is a day to rejoice and be glad in Him, a day to spread His glorious gospel. Choose this day whom you will serve. I believe every day we are to... Uh, Deny ourselves, take up our cross daily and follow Christ. In Him is life and life more abundantly. Walk in the Spirit today. You know what I mean? Don't frust I don't believe in frustrating the gospel of God for you are dead and your life is hidden with Christ in God. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So that's just a little bit I wanted to share on that. I mean, the gospel, it's like, you, it's like to some people it's so offensive because they go, yeah, but... I'm going to get up there. It's like, what do you, you think you're going to get up there and you're going to, but see God, I did A, B, C, D. One, praise God, you're going to be judged and you're going to be rewarded for the deeds you do in the flesh. But I'm saying, all's, he needs to look at us and see is Jesus. I'm my confidence, it is in Christ and Christ alone. Are you washed in the blood of Jesus? It's only through the shedding, without the shedding of blood. There's no remission of sin. It's by, it was because His shed blood on the cross, He made a way for each of us. The poor have the gospel preached to them. There's people that, um, it's, it even talked about these people that do the deeds of the law that don't even, never even had the letter of the law. They do it because it shows the evidence that the law is written in their heart. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's it's the, it, but it's the spirit that gives life. The flesh profits nothing. If you're walking in that love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the gentleness. Now, what if you're not walking in all that and you're, well, I'm keeping the Sabbath. And you're going and you're lording it over people's head and you're, well, I'm doing this and I got baptized and you didn't. I mean, you're lording things like that over people's head. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you that I'll point people to Jesus. I've always, I've always looked at it like. Point people to Christ and let the Spirit do the work in them. I'm going to preach grace, faith, the message of faith. The just shall live by faith that we're saved by grace through faith. I'm going to preach that and let the Lord work in them. See, because it tells us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And then it, He don't leave us hanging. What does it say? For it is God who works in you to will and to do for His good pleasure. We preach Christ crucified. That's the message that we preach. John said, look, if anyone goes too far and does not remain in the teaching of Christ, he does not have God. He does not have Christ. So that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. The gospel is the power of salvation. The gospel is the good news. It's that Christ crucified for our sins. There was, a, there was no other way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. He said, I am the door. You don't come in through any other way. And if you, you go rebuilding what was torn down, you become a transgressor. You know what I mean? So uh, the just, like I said, we shall live by faith. And what is faith? It's a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You don't have everything. You know what I mean? You don't see it all clearly now. But we have the spirit of the Lord that's given unto us as a deposit. And he leads us. Of course, he's not going to lead us to sin against God. And can't no one say that when they're tempted, they're tempted to God. For God does, does not is not tempted by evil. You know what I mean? He's not going to lead us to do, be immoral. <laughs> you know what I mean? And things like that. To be, to be immoral and, uh, and in, into adulteries or fornications or any other abomination or anything like this or blaspheming against God or things like that. We walk in the spirit, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience. Speaking the things that are fitting for sound doctrine. So anyway, I mean, I just want to tell you that the gospel is the power of salvation. It's the good news we can only, our only hope is in Christ and in Christ alone. You remember, what about them uh, one people, they came, Jesus told that parable. He, he came and uh, the, the, he got the people at the beginning of the day to go work and he got people at the end of the day to go work. And when, he, when they all came, he gave them all the same thing. And they said, the people that were there first uh, must be over. What? I was up early. I, I was here first. What do you mean? He goes, what? Is your eye evil because I, my eye is good? Am I not able to do as I will with what I will. And then he told the story over in Ezekiel, like these people that were, he said, hey, look, if, if you've been do righteous your whole life and you turn and do evil, you're going to perish in that evil. It, but if you've been evil your whole life and you turn and you repent and you just do good, then guess what? That You're going to be saved. So this that's the same kind of scenario as that, um, that parable Jesus was telling. So it's like Jesus, his grace is just as sufficient for you right here and right now. You know what I mean? No matter what you've done, you could turn to Him today, repent, 
turn to Jesus, uh, believe the gospel, confess the Lord Jesus Christ with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, and you can be saved with the mouth you confess unto salvation, with the heart you believe unto righteousness. Jesus Christ is our righteousness. He is the wisdom of God, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.